And if you're thinking about a bed generator, then of course you're in luck, as Jesse, aka Blenderies, has just released the early version of the bed generator setup for Geometry Notes. This is currently available and runs perfectly for Blender 3.6 and above. And today, we're going to take a look at how you can actually get started with it and work with these directly with Blender 4.0. And for those who would like to get this, currently, if you go over to his Gumroad, you probably will not be able to get it. But for sure, there's a link in the description that takes you directly to this place where you can download it and start working with it. So with this simply opened right here in Blender 4.0, you can see that we do have something that looks pretty, pretty nice. So if I just simply go ahead and cramp this all the way down and press the playback button, you would notice that we have a beautiful bird playing back. It's interesting what we can now do with Geometry Nodes as this just simply allows you to create animated birds like this. So currently, this comes with a couple of presets, which of course you can go ahead and play with. And for us to start exploring this, we need to stop the animation, jump all the way out and see them. So the the presets that you have here, currently they are about five. Taking a look at the first one, which you can see is more like an eagle. Then you've got some parrot, you've got pigeons, you've got some other birds like that. And these birds are fully animated. So you can see the flappings of the wings, the way they glide through the air are all different. So it's not like one that fits all, they are all different and you can do whatever you want with them. You would notice that for individual ones, which you can control by simply using splines, you can go to town with them. More so, if you're thinking about adding more beds, you can increase how much beds you want. So we can add as many eagles as we want and press the playback button and you can see they have different rhythms to their flight and the flight patterns are slightly different. Meanwhile, for individual models, let's go in and see what else you can do. So from the geometry node section, you can play with the curve offset. You can also play with the bird speed. You can play with the wing length. So in this case, if you want to give it some short wings, some big wings, you can do that. The tail length as well is something that you can play with. So you can also increase, reduce the tail length. You can play with the profile. So depending on the kind of bird you want to make, probably you want to make some customized birds. Of course, you can do that. The flapping movement is also something that is super interesting to see that you can change. You can also change the speed, the manual flapping as well. Wing profile is a good one. And for this wing profile, I'm just going to show you guys something that we can go ahead and change all of that. All right. So you can change all of this for this wing profile that you're changing. You can switch the wing from simple to high res. Okay. So you can get the high resolution wing looking pretty. I mean, the fact that you have all of these that are simply driven with geometry node, super cool. So you do have that and you can also go to town with some of the settings. So for the wing profile, you can also make those changes, although you would notice that you have a significant heat to your computer if you're using the super high one and you're making that change. So I would suggest you use the simple one, make the changes that you want, and then you can go ahead and convert this to the high resolution one. It's also worth mentioning that you do have some materials that you can work with. So depending on the material you want, you can go ahead and select that. And this is across the entire mesh. In terms of feathers, you can also choose to play with the feathers depending on how much feathers you want. You can play with the bed scale as well. So you can play with that. You can also play with the big scale. So depending on how much you want, you can do all of that. Currently, I think this has a little bit of a bug because, you know, once we start reducing the beak, you notice it goes all the way down and reveals, you know, some sharp stuff like that. Probably this gets fixed later. And you also have the show curve. So you can turn that on, turn this off. And this is applicable to all the birds that you have here. So if you have this selected, you can also switch this from simple to high resolution and you can see that and it's looking pretty. So depending on the kind of bird that you want, you can go to town with this and they look super, super nice. The fact that we can now create animatable birds and use generators to create them is just super impressive. If you've been thinking about creating birds probably flying across your scene, then I will simply suggest that you go ahead and check the link in the description, grab it and start working with it. These are super cool stuff. And of course, a huge shout out to Jesse, aka Blenderies for making this possible. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.